Today I'm going to teach you how to paint your own safety eyes using chameleon flakes and a little bit of acrylic paint. First thing you're going to do is grab some form of a base. Today I'm using Mod Podge. It's cheap and readily available. You're just going to apply a light layer all around the safety eye. This is going to give something for the flakes to stick to as they dry um, and adhere to the eye. So you're just going to go ahead and put an even layer all around the base of that eye before going in there with your pigment. Today I'm using Kuka Chameleon Flakes from their dark line in a violet and blue transition, which I really, really like. You're going to grab whatever brush you feel like. I'm currently using the one that they sent with the product. I actually found that I like to use eyeshadow applicators more than this brush. I just think that the sponginess helps the flakes grip. Once you have enough flakes, you're going to go ahead and start to apply them onto your eye. What I'm doing here is I'm actually packing this pigment down. What packing the pigment down does is it creates a mirrored effect as opposed to that broken glass effect that's pretty common using this type of flakes in nail art. Uh, you would just leave a lot more space in between the flakes instead of packing them down. You'll notice that I always cover up my flakes. This is because if you breathe or think about breathing, the flakes go everywhere and they're impossible to clean up. Um, I call it the devil's glitter because it is worse than actual glitter, but the results are just unparalleled and I just love them so much, so I'll never stop using it regardless of how colorful every surface in my house is becoming. For the next set of eyes, I'm going to use a different type of color. I am trying to decide between these two pigments for a project I'm working on for a coworker who's been going through a little bit of a rough time, so I'm hoping to make her something to cheer her up. I'm just really excited to see how both of these come out, and I really hope that she likes them. Um, so you're just going to go ahead and make sure that both eyes are completely covered with your Mod Podge and your flakes, and then you're just going to let them dry. It could take a couple of hours, it could take overnight, depending on when you start them, and what the humidity in your house is. Once they're dry, you're just going to go ahead and hit them with a layer of acrylic paint. I'm using Pro Acryl because I had it readily available in my craft room. You're just going to go ahead and use a thin layer of that. This is going to fill in any gaps in your pigment and create that shattered effect if that's the way that you decided to go. It also creates contrast depending on if you're using a color shifting pigment or paint, which I have an entire set of and I love to use and I would be happy to make a video showing how it changes based on if you're using white acrylic paint or black acrylic paint because so you can end up with completely different results and they're all unique and interesting. Once you finish applying the paint, you're going to go ahead and let them dry before applying a top coat of Mod Podge. Now for the reveal, these are the pink and the gold ones that we worked that were a little bit more of that broken glass style. You can see some of the black peeking through the back. And now we're going to show you the other set, which is that glass effect. It's a lot smoother. There's less of that breakage and the black peeking through. I just, I love them both so much. These colors just make my heart happy. Looking at them side by side, I'm not even sure which one she'll like more, but now I just think I need to make another project.